Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now they're not shot for angles, they're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. 480 volt coming in, have a lockable disconnect. Then we go to our three motor protectors, transformers over here. On the front we have screw conveyor, aeration, dust collector, and cement. And there's your indicators for silo full and silo low. So our screw conveyor is this contactor. So start, motor wires go in right here. Running indicator, stop. Aeration, this contactor, start. Indicator, stop. And our dust collector is 120 and it's gonna be on terminals one and two. I'll press the start button on it. We get 120, green light there, stop. Then we have our silo high and silo low indicators and that's gonna be terminal three and four is one of them. So I'm gonna put a jumper between three and four. And we get a silo high indicator. Then a jumper between five and six. Silo low indicator. And then we have our drive, which is a cement feed. If we switch it to manual, we have start, stop right here. Start, green light. We can hear the drive start. And the speed is controlled right on the front potentiometer in manual mode. So just set that where you want it. We can press the stop button. And now we'll switch to auto. Then with an auto mode, you're gonna use terminal seven and eight. You'll put your contact closure there to run the drive. And your four to 20 milliamp is gonna go between nine and 10. So I'm gonna put a jumper wire between seven and eight. And you'll hear the drive start. You can also see the relay pull in right here. And then the speed will be determined by a four to 20 milliamp signal. Let me get a close up of this. So four milliamp is gonna be zero. And as we go up, you're gonna see the hertz on the drive go up. And if we stop around 12, we should be about 30 hertz. And we're roughly 30 hertz. And 20 milliamp will be 60 hertz. hertz. So as far as connections, you'll connect 480 volt to the top of the breaker. Your ground goes there. Your screw conveyor goes in the bottom of this contactor. Aeration goes into the bottom of this contactor. Your dust collector is terminal one and three right here. Your cement feeder connects to T1, T2, and T3 on the drive. Then your silo high is terminal three and four. Your silo low is terminal five and six. Your remote cement feeder run is seven and eight. And your analog signal, which is a four to 20 milliamp, goes to nine and 10. If you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built, please feel free to contact us. Here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful. And YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.